Hey, how's it going out there guys? Thanks for checking out my video today. Today I want to go over with you something interesting I found on Amazon. This is the Nintendo Switch arcade cabinet. Um, it sounds it sounds kind of weird, just bear with me. Um, let's get into this and I will show you what it is. I was looking to actually make one of these on a 3D printer and I saw that they actually have them on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description for you guys if you're interested. There's a couple things I didn't like about this one as much as I liked about the 3D printed one, although the 3D printed one would have taken me somewhere around 20 some hours to fully print that cabinet. So I thought I'd check this out. It was like 13 or 14 dollars for this. Um, well worth the chance for me to buy it. If I didn't like it, maybe I could modify it and make it exactly what I wanted. So I thought we'd go over this together. You guys let me know what you think down below. I'm sure you will anyway. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get right into it. So when you open it up, okay, um, just some really cheap plastic uh, wrapping on it, and it's just like a compressed cardboard basically. Uh, again, for $13, what can you expect? So, um, open this up. Get that out of there. And it, there is a bag of, looks like, rubber O-ring washers that came with it. Uh, sheet of instructions telling you how to uh, put the thing together. And then the parts that are going to form the arcade cabinet. So, we have a couple. Let's just lay all these out here. Okay, so I have it all together and I even have three extra o-rings left over So if you did have some extra in your bag, don't worry. You didn't miss anything uh, That's just the way that it's supposed to be So now with our switch, I'm going to remove the joy cons because it's not going to fit in there with joy cons And all we need to do is just slide it in From the back just like that now. Let me show you a little bit better here with this thing installed, you can see there's a gap right there. And we're just going to take our switch and we're going to slide it in right from that gap. Now, one cool thing with this is that we have uh, vents on the back of the switch there. You can see right there and right there. You do actually have corresponding vents in the back of the switch right here. So it will be able to suck the air in through those vents and blow it out the top just like it normally would. So this is not going to harm your switch at all if you do use this. Uh, one thing I liked about this was just it, it reminded me of an arcade cabinet. It looked kind of cool. I do got to say I wish that there was a top on here, a cover that went over the top of this. Or maybe it looked a little bit more like a like an arcade machine, maybe some decals here to show a joystick and some buttons. And I wish that the sides of this were, didn't have these pieces sticking out and that um, it looked more just like flat on the sides. There are a couple things that I wish that it had. Okay, so one of the other cool features with this is I have my uh, charge cable here and we're gonna take the bottom of this and you can see we still have a cutout there for the uh, charger right there. So let's try and plug this in and see what we get. Boom. So you can actually have this thing uh, plugged into the bottom and charge it up at the same time. So if you're running low on batteries, you can 
charge it while it's in this thing. That's pretty cool. It's, it's nice to see that they thought about that. You can still get to the, um, the volume buttons if you need to adjust the volume here, the power buttons, all that stuff is still accessible from the top. And on the bottom, there's really nothing that needs to be accessed from the bottom to speak. Okay, so there you guys go. You can see the Nintendo Switch is inside the cabinet and it's all set up. It's pretty sturdy. It feels um, pretty decent. There is no screws or glue or anything holding this together. These little rubber O-rings hold the, the pieces of the slats of wood in place, but it feels pretty good. It feels sturdy. Now, if you flip it upside down, your Switch will slide out the bottom. It's designed to do that. That's normal, but when it's in, upright you don't have to worry about it falling apart or falling out or anything like that and that's it it looks really cool i um i want to get some vinyl stickers i want to decorate this a little bit maybe some nintendo uh stickers on it i'd like to uh get like a little maybe a joy con vinyl sticker there maybe some nintendo switch emblems for on the side here something like that i want to decorate this up i want it to look cool i might even take like red paint or a red marker and all on the sides here where this is brown i want to paint that red so it kind of makes it stand out and pop a little bit i noticed that there was two colors for this i think there was a a red one where this all this black here is red and then there was the black one I chose this one. It looked more like an authentic arcade machine. So there you guys have it. Let me know what you think down below. Um, again, there'll be a link if you guys are interested in purchasing this. I do have an affiliate account with uh, Amazon. So if you do buy it from me from the link, it does give me a couple pennies and, and I'd greatly appreciate that. And um, if you learned anything new today, if you think this thing is pretty cool, give me a thumbs up. If I get a thousand likes on this video, I will give this away. Pick someone out random in the uh, comments. So you need to be uh, a subscriber. You need to leave a thumbs up. And you need to comment down below so I know that you want to have this thing if I end up picking you. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.